Hi everyone, my name is Chris Serbrig, and in this project-based series, I will be creating, step-by-step, -step, a retiming tool for Maya. This is a tool that can be used by animators to change the timing and spacing of an animation. The main goal of this series is to teach viewers how to interact programmatically with Maya's timeline using Python and the Maya Commands module. This includes finding and modifying keyframes, querying the playback slider, and manipulating the current time. A recursive method is used to move the keys in a way that avoids multiple keyframes being set on the same frame or jumping over one another. Looking at the finished tool, it contains two rows of buttons and a single checkbox at the bottom. The top row of buttons, labeled 1 through 6, alters how many frames exist between keyframes in a selected range on the timeline. For example, if an animator has done their initial blocking on ones, similar to this scene, where each frame is in sequence on the timeline at frames 1, 2, 3, and so on, if the animator wishes to move to twos, thus slowing the animation down, this can be a tedious process where I have to move the range multiple times for each keyframe. So here I'm selecting the next keyframe and separating it out so there's two frames between each keyframe. With the retiming tool this becomes trivial. All I have to do is select the entire range and in this case I'd like to move to twos so I'm going to use the two frame button on the retiming tool and with that there are now two frames in between each of the keyframes in the scene. And this isn't limited to the entire range. If I wanted to, I could really slow down the middle of this animation by selecting a range in the middle. And in this case, I'm going to use the six frame button. So this is going to insert six frames in between each keyframe in my selected range. The bottom row of buttons are for relative values. These buttons will increase or decrease the number of frames between keyframes by the specified value. And this can be useful for shifting keys to the left or the right, since all of the keyframes to the right of the current time will be moved. By clicking on the plus one frame button, I can insert a single frame to the right of the current timeline Clicking the button multiple times, we'll continue to shift these keys one frame to the right for each key press. And I can move these keys to the left by clicking the minus one button. The checkbox at the bottom enables move to next frame functionality. When this is enabled, the current time will move to the next keyframe after each operation and this allows the user to quickly step through each frame, adjusting it individually. If I insert one extra frame at the current time, once that's completed, the current time will jump ahead to the next keyframe. So now it's on keyframe three. If I insert a frame on keyframe three, the current time jumps to the next keyframe, which was just moved and is now at frame five. For this project, the code will be split into two different classes, one for the logic, the code that queries and modifies the keyframe data, and the other for the user interface. For this project, I will be providing two UIs, one using Maya's native commands and the other using PySide 2 for use on Maya 2017 and newer. 